Hey, David Perdue here from MyNames.com and the Novice to Advanced Marketing System. And I'm pretty excited about this today because I've got one of my favorite people, favorite people on to talk about something that's really special. Um, if you are into publishing, if you are into making money with your books, just not just a book, but creating a business around your book, this is the person you want to talk to. And it's Tamara Monosoff. I've never met anybody who understands the intricacies of creating a funnel from your book so that you can create a business in that book, around that book to your other products and building relationships and all of that. And she does this incredibly well and I'm really delighted to have her on here today. So I'm just gonna read her bio really quickly so that I don't, don't get it wrong and so you know who she is, all right? So just quickly here. Dr. Tamara Monosoff, doctor, I always like that. <laughs> is a book marketing expert and Amazon number one best-selling business author and creator of the Author to Income Formula, a revolutionary step-by-step -step system that shows authors how to reach number one bestseller standard status on Amazon, execute a successful book launch or relaunch, bask in the media spotlight, and make a hefty income from your book and beyond. Ta uh, Tamara has been featured on the Today Show, Good Morning America, CNN, U.S. News and World Report, Wall Street Journal, Oprah, People and Time Magazine, to name just a few. Before becoming an author and entrepreneur, she served in the White House and U.S. Department of Education as a presidential appointee to the Clinton administration. So I have to admit, Tamara, this is the first time that we've had a White House official <laughs> on <laughs> our calls. So thank you for being here. This is terrific. David, thank you so much for having me, and I'm delighted to be here, and we'll have to talk about the White House in a different conversation. That's right, that's right. <laughs> because today I'm so excited to share with you and your wonderful community about book publishing, and I think the thing that people keep, uh, you know, we get so focused on writing the content of our book that we don't realize that there are so much more to building a powerful platform and business, and so I want to share five surprising ways to boost your income and the things you need to be thinking about as you're putting your book together. Excellent. How does that sound? Love okay. it. Love it. Great. So I'm going to share my slides right now. And I, if you can let me know, can you see, all right, how, how do they look now? Looks perfect now. Okay, fantastic. Okay, great. So let me go ahead and get started. So, one of the things, and you, you walked through my bio beautifully, I'm not going to spend any time on this other than just to say one thing, and that is that I am both traditionally published with McGraw-Hill and self-published, and so my feet are in both worlds. So if there are any questions about that, I'm happy to answer it as we go on. So today, we have so much to cover, so I'm going to be talking really quickly, but David, I hope that you'll jump in and ask questions along the way uh, and jump in at any time. You couldn't stop me. <laughs> okay, good. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to give you clear, actionable steps that you can use right now. So when we finish, you're going to be able to go and get started. I'm then going to tell you at about five income boosters, uh, walk you through a special opportunity to work with me on a deeper level, and then I'm going to share one of my hottest income boosters, and that's how I earn $14,000 extra cash in 72 hours and how you can too, and that was from the content of my book, so I can't wait to share that with you, and then I'd love to open it up to any questions. Okay. So, first of all, I just want to say that hitting number one on Amazon is not accidental. It's totally strategic, and you absolutely can achieve this if you just know what the steps are. And another piece of this puzzle in terms of building a powerful author platform, even if you're an introvert. David, people don't believe me when I say that I'm actually an introvert. I don't believe it either. I know, <laughs> but it actually is true, and I think a lot of authors are. And But what I realized very quickly is I had to get over myself, <laughs> and if I wanted to get my message out in a powerful way and reach more people that I had to be willing to embrace the media. And what I learned is the media is looking for you. They're looking for your stories. They're desperate to fill in their time slots 24 seven. Think about what they have to cover. And so you are the perfect person to be featured in the media too. 
So this is a, a, the Today Show. Uh, this is when I launched the second edition of my Mom Inventors Handbook. And then down here with Katie Couric is when I launched the first edition. On CNN, uh, I've been on CNN multiple times, and this was really interesting. Uh, when my book came out, the CNBC contacted me, and this is after making my book interactive, which I'm gonna be talking to you about today. CNBC contacted me, they had scanned all of my codes. Again, I'm gonna explain everything in just a minute. And they're like, we want you, and we want you to come in and do three TV segments in a row so that we can send out at different times. So it really does work, what we're, I'm going to share with you today. And really, my point in this whole uh, presentation is to encourage you and tell you that you absolutely can achieve this too. And when I first started launching my books, almost nothing happened. I mean, I, and I hear from many authors that this has happened to you too, but this happened to me and it was so, I was like, wait a minute, I've put so much time and effort and all of my knowledge and expertise in the, into these books to help people. Why aren't they going out there and buying it? What is, what am I doing? What do I need to be doing differently? And so that's what inspired me to roll up my sleeves and get started. And I am assuming, David, that there are people here that have either experienced this or worry about this when they're when they're going to launch. Yeah, I'm one of those. I mean, uh, it, it appears, it's always amazing to me that you spend so much time uh, writing the book and pouring all of your efforts into that, and then all of a sudden you get it out there and it's like crickets if you don't have a plan in place, right? That's exactly right. And, and even if you, like when I, even after you've published, maybe you've had one success and then you'll say, oh gosh, okay, now I've got my platform all set up and you put out a second one. But if you don't know what to do, it's just nothing happens, nothing right. happens. So I just wanna say this, David, not to depress you or anyone else, but I, it's just the reality. And so this is why this, what I'm gonna teach you today is so important. There are over 4,500 printed books published daily on Amazon. Holy moly. That's 4,500 different titles? Yes. Wow. And that's printed books. So you can imagine Kindle books are so much easier to publish that they're not, that number is just going to be, you know, completely right. magnified. Uh, I asked them the question. They wouldn't tell me the answer. Uh, but you can imagine. So this means that it's up to the author to you have to do things differently in order to stand out from all of these books. And it's just, at this point in time, it's up to you to make this shift so that you can reach your readers on a totally different level. And so when you, you know, when you're writing your book or if you've written a book, you may be thinking, okay, you've got your book ready and you're ready to go. And then all of a sudden reality crashes in and these questions start popping up. Wait a minute. How do I create a powerful author platform? How do I make my book interactive? And what does that even mean? Right. And you know, a lot of people when I say make your book interactive, it's like, wait, what? <laughs> and you know, how do I actually hit number one on Amazon and get featured in the media spotlight? And how do I choose the right tools? This was a huge one for me. Uh, and I ended up spending thousands of dollars on the wrong tools to finally get to a point where. Now I have the most cost effective and best tools. Right. And then also, this is what something that I was thinking about, David. How can I boost my income immediately? Like I need cash now. And how do I create a plan so that I can create consistent and reliable income over time? So I know people are going to be interested in how do I get more cash now? Because that's what I hear all the time, because people are seem to be really frustrated and desperate that they did this thing and they're not getting the kind of income that they think they should be getting from it. Yes, and so today I'm gonna to give you some ideas and strategies that you can use right now to, to ge start generating income. Great. Yeah, and so let me just tell you quickly that this is what inspired me to create the author to income formula after I had struggled so hard myself trying to figure out why is this book not selling? Why am I not generating more income? And what I came to learn over time is that there are interconnected strategies to creating a powerful author platform. And one is interactivity and engagement with your readers on a totally different level, which we're going to touch on today, and how to become a number one best-selling author because that ties into your credibility and visibility is tied into your being in the media spotlight and being able to tell the media, hey, I'm the number one Amazon best-selling author. They all are interconnected. 
And then today we're going to touch and scratch the surface and I'm going to give you some of the income boosters. I mean, really there's so many, but I'm going to give you some core income boosters that you can use today to get started. And then uh, also what are the right tech tools? So these are all interconnected strategies. So we're going to touch on the interactivity and the income boosters today. Great. Because making your book interactive directly connects with making money and so and what with what's happening in this in the world today so as you well know people are watching videos and oftentimes as authors you know we're really more in our heads and we're readers and we aren't thinking about videos when we're writing our books but that's why we need to make the shift because we need to connect with people in the way that they are digesting information mm -hmm and they're doing it through videos. So with Facebook having hit over 8 billion daily views of videos, it's just staggering. And Forbes says that videos increase people's understanding of your books, products, programs, and services by 74%. That is incredible. And so what does this have to do with your book? Well, it has everything to do with your book, and this is why you should make your book interactive. Because video, both in printed, and in Kindle books is gonna engage your readers. And guess what happens? When they start seeing you consistently on video throughout your book, they get to know you and trust you, and then wanna even learn more from you on mm -hmm. a deeper level. Then video makes your content more interesting, right? If you have a, a, a paper book, uh, yes, that's great, but video also makes it much more interesting and captivating when you're jumping onto video and talking to your readers all throughout the book. It's like you're taking their hand, David, and actually walking through the book with them. And then using your book as a marketing tool. And you know, I used to be in the consumer products business uh, before I became an author. And you know, I was thinking, you know, how do I create traffic for my products? And then suddenly I realized, wait a minute, <laughs> my book is a product. And it's sometimes hard for authors to think of their book as a product, but you need to, uh, because you need to think of it as a tool and have it rich with information, but now you're going to use it as a tool to drive people back to your other products, programs, and services to work with you, retreats, workshops, whatever it is that you want them to do. And I'll just give you a quick example that, first of all, most people don't leave their home without their phone, and we're checking our phones all day long, and I included over 50 QR codes and with videos, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute with my QR codes, but I included over 50 videos in my book. This was in 2014 when this was not being done. And these were of other people's stories. And David, I know you talk about how important it is to include stories. Right. Yeah, so I included their stories in the book, and everything went wild when I launched because it was all about them and their stories and how they could touch and inspire the reader. And it just, everything went wild and it totally tied to engagement and income. Just Can you really see my phone here? <laughs> that is your book on my phone. Wait a minute. I can't see. Wait, there you are. <laughs> I love it. That's it. Uh, awesome. I, I love, love it. the way it presents on the phone, by the way. Because oh, I'm so glad. You can, just, you can just click buttons and go to other stuff and come right back. I mean, the links are there. The QR codes are there. It's easy. Yay. That was so fun for you to do that. So the reason why this is so important is because you want to create an emotional connection with your readers. And by doing that, if you, if you have a one-dimensional book, um, you know, it's just flat. It doesn't, it's not like giving back in the same way. So think about it. Intellectually, people are searching for information. You go onto Amazon and or Google, and you're typing in how to. I'm making this up, but how to you know lower your blood pressure or eat better or whatever it is that you're looking for. And so you're intellectually thinking, I need help. I'm struggling with this, and so you're going to search online for that. Then you find this book that the author jumps on to video and tells an inspiring story about something that happened, you know, a struggle that the author had, or you've included other people in the book who are sharing their struggles as a way to inspire. And then you've touched this reader in the heart, right? And then mm -hmm. that's going to create new pathways of thinking for the reader. 
So now through video and this content that is so powerful, you're creating an, an experience for the reader. It's not just about reading the book. It's now an experience where you're going to touch them on a different level. I love this. I'm not going to read through all these, but what I love is the uh, when there are reviews from people you don't know who are talking about the impact the videos have had. So, you know, valuable information, love the included videos. Uh, Rajender says, this is the first book I've come across that utilizes web technology the right way in digital version. Nelson says, uh, she provides videos and many links to resources that I have been searching for a while. Thanks, tomorrow. I'm a new fan. And then lastly, uh, Blythe says, I can't put it down. It's filled with so much valuable information. The personal and interactive story stories of the entrepreneurs in this handbook make the book so unusual. So you see people are responding to this new added level of interactivity and engagement. So can I ask a question about this? Yes. Because your goal in this, I think, and I want you to confirm this, I think your goal in this with the interactivity is to create um, rabid fans, right? People who are fans of yours and you build that personal relationship and then you carry through to um, like groups, Facebook groups or YouTube videos or whatever so that they actually feel like they have a relationship with you and do have a relationship with you, right? They do. I mean, think about it. If your book is not interactive, you're counting on the reader then to try to find you and connect with you. But imagine the impact of creating that connection immediately. And it really does impact. I get emails all the time where people will talk about how they felt inspired or touched in some way by something that I said in a video and the mm -hmm. content. And so you are, you're creating this, it's a relationship. It's like, but you, you know, if you just have your book on Amazon, Amazon keeps all the names and emails, right? You don't have a chance to connect. You don't know who bought your book, right. but now you have a chance to do that and connect with them like in just this amazing powerful way. Yep. So I like to think of your website as the center of the universe and that everything you're doing inside your book is you're driving them back through your video you know, introductions. I introduce and I'll show you in a minute, but I introduce every chapter of my book and I take the reader through. So it really quick, it give me 30 seconds, I'm not kidding, where you just say, hey, I'm so happy that you're here, chapter one, and chapter one you're gonna learn X, Y, and Z, I can't wait to hear what you think about it. I mean, it's that easy, right, yeah. that fast. Yeah. And then you can include other people's stories, as I said, and also I'm gonna show you what I mean by QR codes, and it's really important not to drive your readers off to YouTube videos because then you're going to lose them to cat videos, <laughs> right? I mean, they're just going to get so distracted on YouTube. So you've got to embed those videos on your own pages on your website so that you're driving those readers to your website over and over and over again throughout the book. And so one tip about that is you don't want the related videos to show up when it finishes either. So. Right. So that's why it's so beautiful when you do the embed code on YouTube. You just uncheck that box right. and it will it'll prevent that from happening. I'm glad you brought that up. And you can also include the audio messages. I have one of my authors who does angel readings and meditations, and she does audio messages throughout her book, and also offering offers all throughout your, sprinkling throughout your book as well. So just so you're familiar, this is what a QR code is. It stands for quick response code, and it's generated just like an image, just like any other image, but you can link that code to videos that you can then embed on your web pages. Why I like this is because this is a is my logo. You can see my logo, and it, so it's a branded QR code. So every time my readers see my branded code, they know it's a personal message from me. So that creates that consistency where they get to know me. Now, see, this is the first time I've ever seen a branded QR code. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, and in color. So I have it printed. It's, I've got a lot of lights on, so you probably can't see. But on the book, I even have it. Can you see this? Yep. I, I have this on the back of my book so that people could scan the book uh, in the bookstore and were able to hear me introduce the book and what they're going to learn and what results they're going to get. From oh, geez, that's book. brilliant. I love that. It's like yeah. you're standing there talking to them about your book. Yes. Ah. And so that's exactly what that's a whole, like what you're going to get from reading this book. And so here I just show this, these pictures because this is in my upcoming class. 
this is how I teach, David. I show you. So, like, I actually get my phone and show you how to download the app. So, you have to uh, download an app reader. We go to Google, type in QR code app reader, and then you scan the code and it pops your video where you're introducing your book or your chapters or whatever story you're telling. Um, and, in, you know, David, in your case, you've got so many amazing stories that you could, you could sprinkle in throughout to support whatever your content yeah. is talking about our tips and information. So just to give you a sense of this, this is how I do my chapter. So chapter one, and then you see right here, watch video message tomorrow introduces chapter one. And then I always put the link too, just so that someone can click on the link as well. But if it's a printed version, it would be just scanning the code. Mm -hmm. This is what I love too, is when I get opt-ins directly for my book, it always makes me smile. So for example, I'm featuring someone else, she's sharing her story, and then, and I always put their website just so the reader can go and learn more about them. And then, as you see, I've embedded the, the interview directly onto my webpage with my opt-in right there. Nothing else is on that page except for that person that I'm featuring's interview and then my opt-in. Do you see? And then mm -hmm. you can see how you can get opt-ins directly from your book. And your call to action there is to get something else, right? Yeah, it's to get something else that I have. And so you yeah. would have your you know, favorite freebie that people love that's in alignment with what your, your book's about or the content, you know, what you teach and what, what you so offer. This is a huge list builder for you. Yes, it is amazing. And then it, and it, you'll laugh and smile because you're like, oh, you know, it just came in from the book. You're like, you can see it's because it's tracking, right? Yep. So, and, it, and let me just say this, something to think about with this. I, this was a business book that I did and I included 50 women who had, had built their businesses, but I didn't have them promote their businesses in the book. In this case, I had them share their stories about what struggles they had to overcome in building their business. Uh, and what successes they've had so far, what surprised them about starting their business, and what is one piece of advice for aspiring entrepreneurs. Hmm. So, it, and it was really interesting to hear all the different stories that came from that. And by the way, the media loved that too. A lot of my people got featured in the media because of that. That's a nice little benefit, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, uh, also you want to consider featuring other uh, experts. This was uh, where I was constantly being asked uh, legal questions. I knew the answers being in business for over a decade. I knew the answers, but I'm not a lawyer. Right. So I invited a lawyer to do this with me and we just broke them down into six little snippets and saved my readers a ton of money because I answered the questions that I was most consistently asked. And he got so much business from my book that he actually had to start turning <laughs> clients away. Wow. Yeah, so it works. Okay, so money boosters, are you ready? Ready. Okay, money booster number one is to create loyal book ambassadors. I call them book ambassadors because when you include other people in your books, they are the first people to go out and tell everyone, oh my gosh, I am so excited. I am featured in this book. Now, it's a benefit to both of you because they're talking about being featured, but they're talking about your book. <laughs> And so this increased my book sales like crazy. And usually, by the way, books stay at number one hourly, right? You're yep. lucky when your book hits number one, the next hour it may drop down. This book actually stayed at number one for two weeks. And that was because I had these book ambassadors out there telling everybody about this book. I so let me a, ask you about the book ambassador thing a little bit, if you don't mind. Because if you have 50 people in here that were book ambassadors basically, right? Yes. So first off, you got 50, 50 people who are promoting your book and, and you didn't even ask them to. They were just excited. So they promote it, right? Yes. Okay. So they're out there promoting your book, talking about being featured in this book uh, because it's good for them. They want people to come read this, uh, read this story. And they probably would say something like, you know, I'm featured on page 44. Um, so they get people into the book to look. Uh, so you're getting the sales that way, but you're also getting these relationships with these people. Like you've already talked about a couple of them who are huge fans already because they're getting a lot of business. from it, Right. So is that, is, is, is it a hard sales job to get people to do this for you? No, <laughs> every single person I asked said yes. And let me just take things a little bit deeper than I was planning to, David, because I always go deeper with you. Yeah, uh, yeah I do, because it's just like, I get so excited about this. But think about this. I 
gave each one of these book ambassadors a little, a, a, like a little seal saying, I'm featured in, and then it had a picture uh, of my book for them to post everywhere. I gave them a pre-written template for their local press release, a local press release. And so they got to type in their name, their business, give a quote about what they were excited about. And then of course it's about being featured in my book. So my book is mentioned in all 50 press releases. So it was wild what so happened. So they got an ambassador package from you. They, they did, and let me just take it even further. I even invited them to become affiliates and to take, I did a video tutorial teaching them how to set up an affiliate account on Amazon so that they could use their affiliate link and start earning income on any books that they sold. Wow. Yeah, so it's like if you support your book ambassadors, it is absolutely wild i had over ten thousand scans of my qr codes in the first week of my book's launch wow media was contacting me they were contacting the other women this is this was i googled my book <laughs> and this is what i it, it's wild they were so excited they were taking pictures posting everywhere they got on tv they're in the newspaper it, it just went wild huh. so, that's great yeah okay money booster number two Something you might want to consider is if there is, and I know we know Lou. We know uh, Lou. We know Lou. Um, but Lou is a video marketing expert. It supported my content of my book. And so think about other uh, experts that could contribute to the content of your book. And huh. you could put an affiliate program. Let's say, you know, he's got a, a you know, a affiliate program on how to start book marketing or video marketing for your book or whatever it is that he has, you could then do an affiliate link to his program and start earning commissions directly from your book. Brilliant. Pretty powerful. Okay, this is a really simple one that you can do right after we finish this webinar. And this is money booster number three, which is absolutely and immediately sign up as an affiliate on Amazon for your own and pull up your own affiliate link for your book. It's so simple. This is the link. And then you can start earning 4% on every single book sale in addition to what you're already earning. This is in addition. You can put everywhere you put this on your website, social media, wherever you're posting it, use your, your affiliate link to earn an additional 4% in sales. So I have to ask you, is Amazon, is this still a, uh, this is not against their terms of service to do this with your own book? I've not had any issues, not once, and I have all my authors doing it. I've not had any issues. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And what's exciting about this is that when Amazon is, when, when someone enters Amazon with your affiliate link, it's called an open buying session. That's what they call it. That means anything that that person purchases, they, you will also get a percentage of sales. Right. So I have a vacuum cleaner there because someone bought my book and bought a vacuum cleaner. I'm like, is that a good thing? <laughs> uh, but I, it, I was like, where is this vacuum cleaner? And then I realized and then asked them and they said, yes, you earn a percentage on anything that people purchase while on Amazon. Also, if you were, you know, many of us are coaches and we help others. We're in, if you are already recommending other books, or products from Amazon, then by all means use your affiliate link because it benefits everyone. It benefits your clients, it benefits the person who's written this book, and it also benefits you. So it's a win for everyone. So consider doing this. But let me say this. I have to say this, David, because it's so important. You a rule with Amazon is you cannot put affiliate links like this inside your book. Right. You would have to do a link to, hey, my favorite resources and it would be a link to a page on your site and then you'd have all of your favorite resources and those can all be affiliate links. So let me just to carry on to this if you don't mind here's a little thing I did just yesterday. Um, be, I posted a link yesterday just saying who's your favorite president right and and tell me why and so I got probably 50, 60, 70 responses of people doing favorite presidents but I have I'm, I'm kind of a history buff so I've read a bunch of books on different presidents biographies so I went to Amazon and I grabbed my affiliate link for my favorite books about those presidents and then my response to their comment was always have you read this book so there's an affiliate link for like 10 or 15 of the different books sprinkled throughout this thread and that in uh, Facebook and so you know I'm going to get commissions from from a lot of Amazon stuff happening from that 
I love that because, you know, that likely haven't heard about the book. And that's a great, I mean, that is, I love it. That's brilliant. I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But you can see the power in this, right? Yep. And then the fact that Amazon has the buying session, I mean, that just magnifies each one of your sales. Because usually you can't go to Amazon without buying something else. That's right. Money booster number four, David, is probably the most important. And that's because when you write a Kindle book, Amazon has a look inside feature. And so what most authors miss is this spectacular opportunity to capture names and emails directly from Amazon. So when you have a look inside feature, don't go on and on with your inside front matter. After the title page, put an invitation from you to your readers, inviting them, and then give them three different choices with three different opt-ins. And because, you know, something may appeal to one person and another mm -hmm. may appeal to another person. And these are direct links to opt-ins where they can then grab your free gift and then now you have them on your in your email and you can start to nurture that relationship over time. And that is, um, those are clickable links in Look Inside, right? Yes. That's what, I, I mean, when I first did this the first time, I was like, okay, let's see if this works. This was now years ago. And I was like, let's see if this works. I didn't actually think Amazon was going to allow those links to be clickable from the right. Look Inside, but they are. And so you can capture, even if they didn't even buy your book, right. but they're like, oh my gosh, I want that list of tools she's got. Uh, they can click and then now you've captured their name and email and now you can nurture that relationship. It's That's incredible. a great list builder. Money Booster number five is creating a membership site with content that is special and exclusive for your audience. So I have, you know, you can only pack so much into your book, right? But now you have people opting in and getting to, wanting to know you and see what other things you have to offer. And so I have what's called the Author Success Hub. Now think about this. With only $27 a month. Now, there's all different ranges of prices of Members Club. And if you're just starting out, you want to do it probably on the lower end just to get started. And even at the lower end, you know, $27 plus, you know, times 100 people is $2,700 a month. Mm -hmm. And so it's a great way to get started generating income. So, for example, inside my members area, I put really juicy content. And that's like the contact emails for book editors in magazines like Oprah and many, many others. And then I also have a fill in the blank email template where, you know, because sometimes you think, well, what do I say to this editor? <laughs> so you have a fill in the blank. You just put your book title, a sentence about what your book's about, and you are good to go. And now you've got the direct links to the people that you need to send it to. But here's the thing. If you want to even be more successful... You want to look at a magazine's editorial calendar. Now, magazines plan their year in advance. And so every month has a different theme. And you just have to figure out where your book fits. And then when you're emailing that editor, you'll say, my book is launching and I, it's the perfect fit for the June issue. Just so you get that editor immediately thinking exactly where it needs to go. And it is amazing how much that will increase your success rate in mm -hmm. terms of getting featured. So let's just recap really quickly. Uh, Money booster number one is create loyal book ambassadors. Incredible. They will help you magnify your message so quickly and your books, book sales. Uh, Money booster number two is include other experts and affiliates. And we didn't even talk about sponsorship. But David, you can also include, think about it, if you've got other uh, people that may be perfect for advertising inside your book, you could you could just sell them a sponsorship to put an ad or a coupon. Mm -hmm. I did that with a QR code company. I let them put a coupon inside my book. Money booster number three is Amazon affiliate. Um, make sure that you're using that for your own book and other people's books and products that, you know, if you're a yoga instructor and you have a new book on yoga and you're recommending these amazing yoga mats on Amazon, why not start earning income on those yoga mats in addition sure. to everything else? And then don't forget money booster number four, which probably should be number one because it's also so important, is that prime real estate inside your Kindle book uh, where you're going to be putting that invitation to your readers for them to opt in for gifts. Money booster number five is to consider a membership site. And even just starting small can really start boosting your income and creating that consistent monthly income. So I am going to tell you still, David, 
one hot money booster, and that is how I earn $14,000 extra cash in 72 hours. Uh, but I also want to, if I may, tell everyone here about my upcoming, my program, my offer to income program. Yeah, we'd love to hear that. I think, I think the thing that is really um, separating you from everybody else in this, in this market, and the reason I love working with you on this, is you're so focused on income from your book. Uh, most people are, are focused on getting your book out. <laughs> and to me, that's like the last thing, right? That's so. right. And, and I think I'm so glad you brought that up because it really has to shift from I'm going to make money selling my book to I'm going to use my book as this powerful, incredible marketing tool to invite people to get to know me and to learn more and to work with me on a deeper level. Like it's a mind shift, right? So can, I, can I tell you a quick story? Yes. <laughs> So uh, we had a woman who uh, signed up for the Insiders Club, and there was a 14-day trial in our Insiders Club that we have. And at the before the trial was up, she said, you know, everything you've got in here is really interesting, but I have to tell you that every time I hear the word business, uh, I get really um, upset, she said, because I'm a writer. I just want to write. So I don't think it really applies to me. This whole thing about business doesn't really apply to me. And I, I was kind of... Um, snippy back with her, I guess, uh, because I responded back and said, well, good luck with that, because I think your family's going to really enjoy reading your writing. If you don't consider it to be a business, though, nobody else will. And that's, to me, you go from a writer perspective to a publisher perspective. And if you're a publisher, you're creating content that you have to distribute, and you got to figure out ways to distribute it. And that's what we're talking about here is ways to market and distribute your writing. That's exactly what we're talking about. And I'm so glad that you share that story because it's absolutely true. And in fact, in my class that I'm about to tell you about, I talk about that mind shift to yep. creating a business with using your book as a tool to do that. I love that. Thank you so much for bringing that up. So my class is the author to income formula training, and it's really about launching your book successfully hitting number one on Amazon. But then, you know, a lot of times things stop there. It's like, well, what then, right? Sure. What's next? Well, we need to be thinking about how to market that book in the most powerful way. And we do that by making your book interactive so that you can continue to build and grow your business and really having the goal in sight. What is it that you want to do? Yeah, I have people tell me, I want to speak more from the stage, or I want to just do retreats in Hawaii, or, you know, and if you having that end goal in mind, then we can really work to build that business using this as a marketing tool to drive people to those different products, services, and programs that you want to offer. I love this. Uh, this is a psychologist who says, I never expected to hit number one on Amazon so early in the, in the day. Your system works. She has right. parenting in the real world. I love this story uh, because she was relaunching. I have a lot of authors who launched, didn't get the results that they were hoping for. So they came back and took the author to income formula and then relaunched and had success. And so she was talking about how her two books were collecting digital dust. But David, I have to tell a little bit about this story. I'm not going to read this to you. She did hit number one with two books at the same time. But the story is she was taking my class and she had it up on her screen and she was following along. <laughs> and as I was teaching, because I, when I teach, I show you how to do everything. She was actually clicking on all of the buttons and doing everything. And the next morning she had hit number one with two books. Holy mackerel. It was incredible. So I just love that story with Katie Anna. This is Bridget Engel. She, all she wanted, wants to do is fill her Hawaiian retreats because Hawaii is her favorite place. And so she used her book as a way to drive people from the book to her video funnel that talked about her retreats and had people talking about their experiences with her retreats and then scheduling a time to speak with her about her retreats. And mm -hmm. so now her retreats sell out. She's been adding more and more each year. So she has had total success with this process. Another one of my authors uh, using my method got featured 
in Oprah Magazine, and I love wow. it. She said, I'm following your step-by-step -step methods, and I just realized that every good thing that is happening with my book is linked to you. And she just said her book, it just was wild uh, what has happened. She actually just did another TV segment. I just talked to her last week uh, on the Hallmark Channel. Uh, and they were, she was supposed to go in for a two-minute segment, and they kept her on for the two hours. They put her into every single segment throughout the show. Wow. Incredible. It was incredible. It gives me chills. I get so excited about this. Okay. So here is the course. This is how it's set up. The first four weeks, so module one is talking about creating, a, becoming a profitable author by setting up a powerful platform. It's like setting up the foundation in your house. Sure. And so that's the business that we take care of. It is the business of being an author. Mm -hmm. uh, module number two is turning your readers into loyal fans. And that's by turning your book into an interactive, engaging tool with these stories and videos that I'm telling you about. And I show you exactly how to do that. And David, I teach people how to do this who have never, like barely even know how to plug in their webcam. I, I teach for the not so tech savvy. And so that's why people can end up doing this successfully because I, I actually look, was still working on a typewriter. <laughs> and, uh, and believe it or not, my kids are like, what's that? Yeah. Um, and so it's like, I get that kind of fear factor. And so I teach from the perspective of, look, you don't have to know anything. I will teach you step by step how to do this successfully. Module number three is I teach you four strategies to become a number one Amazon bestselling author. They all work. I've used them multiple times. My, my authors do with them over and over again. They have success uh, with those strategies. And you use different strategies for different books at different times, and, and that's a whole uh, specialty right there. Module number four is how to get featured in the media spotlight. It's not just about getting featured in the media spotlight. I teach you how to uncover direct email addresses. I teach you what to say to the TV producers. I teach you actually how to be asked back over and over again. Like what do you have to prepare ahead of time? Because I'm asked back over and over again to be a repeat guest. And then, and then how to perform on camera. So I teach you all those elements around getting featured in the media, especially if you are an introvert. And the thought of it just like, oh, but it's an incredible way to create a powerful author platform and to get that credibility that you're seeking and visibility. So can I ask a question about that module? Is this? Yes. Like, so the, the media spotlight to me is um, people are mostly afraid in that arena because they have to reach out, right? But what you're also teaching is ways for people, for the media to find you, right? Yeah. See, so it's like a two, a two side. I love that you brought this up. So I teach you how to reach out and that's why I make things so easy. Like with the templates and this is what you say, this is how you do it. But here's what happens by making your book interactive. Mm -hmm. The media does not have time to read your book, right. but they may want to do like a TV segment on your topic. And now what happens, and this is what's happened for me. They'll get your book and they'll use their smartphone and trust me, TV producers, and I've heard from them over and over again, they just want to scan your videos to see if you're going to be able to be on, you know, a guest. Like yep. if you know your topic and you can speak well about it, then they, that's what they're looking for. They, they're not going to read your book. So it's a perfect opportunity. You can reach out to them and I teach you both ways how to receive a producer so that if you, when you get that call, which I have received so many times, and when you get that call that you know and you are totally prepared, I can teach you. I can, I can go off, but I can tell you one tip right now. You want to know what it is? Sure. When a TV producer calls you, what ends up, you get really like, oh, my God, right? You get like it, this moment. And so what you need to do and is to take control not of the producer but of the situation. And what I mean by that, producer is going to start – talking to you a hundred miles an hour because they are under so, so much stress to sure. get guests for the show. What you need to ask the very first thing is thanks so much for your call. I'm really looking forward to talking to you about this. What would help me is if I could understand the angle of your show. Uh -huh. This is so important because if you understand what they need to achieve, then you can Make sure that your story and what, how you're delivering your story and from which angle you need to be speaking from so that you can be the perfect guest for their show. Yep. Okay, enough said. Uh, module number five is money, uh, how to make money with your book and beyond. This is where I really get into money-making strategies. You, today, we just scratched the surface of what's possible. I have many, many, many strategies. And so what happens is I 
teach you how to do all these different things and then you pick and choose which strategies are the best fit for your book. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful thing is you can reuse all of this over and over again for any book that you have in the future. Okay. And module number six, uh, we talk about marketing tools. And I actually do tutorials and showing you exactly how to use these tools very simply. Module number seven is email automation and lead generation. And so we need to have the back end set up. And again, I show you very simply how to. I share my screen and walk you through to take away the fear. I also teach you how to do your basic email funnels and little you know, ways in which you communicate with people to purchase from you over time. Module number eight is I really dive into social media I get panicked people do I have to be everywhere do I have to be doing everything and the answer is no it depends on your topic of your book to figure out where you should be and then I we walk I walk you through exactly how to do this we also talk, cover how to live stream on Facebook and use be live TV and all of these live streaming tools so that is the course, David. And I just wanted to quickly say, I'm throwing in bonuses. I was thinking about this last night. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm giving you everything. <laughs> I know, really. I really we was thinking like about that. It. Give us everything. <laughs> That's great. Okay, well, this is incredibly hot. So this is my email swipe copy that I use for my own book launches over and over again. Oh, nice. So it's the exact thing. What I did is I went through them and I... I put prompting questions for you all the way through so that you can be thinking about your own launch. I also give you a calendar on how to work backwards from the date of your launch so that you know what emails and what time the timing is for your book launch. You know exactly what you need to do on what days and when. So that is exactly my, this my swipe copy. Uh, the next thing I want to give you, and this is another thing I'm like, Oh my gosh, this is a self publishing success secrets. This course, I teach you how to upload your book to create space so that you can self publish. I teach you, I share my screen. I actually upload a book and show you the entire process. I teach you how to upload your book to Kindle, how to set your categories, how to order back of the room books. I teach you all of this in this little course. And these courses, I, the, I actually sell this for $9.97 on my website. So you also, what I've added with this self-paced version is I, I want you to have access to my incredible community of authors. So I have, I'm giving you an invitation to join my private Facebook group, which is extremely active. I'm in there all the time answering questions. And then also my live monthly coffee calls every single month, third Thursday of the month, I jump on live on Zoom and answer any questions you have so you have access to me. So Basically. this is pretty amazing. I want to talk about this um, bonus number two. Well, bonus number one and number two for me are like just massive. Bonus number three obviously is great to be able to get in there and, and join with you. Um, and, and the live monthly coffee calls are also awesome to get questions answered and get access to you. But I want to talk about two for a second because I just went through the Create Space product with, process with my wife's book. And it is not that easy. It is, if you don't know what you're doing and you haven't done it before, there are a lot of questions you don't really know how to fill out, right? And so you really do need to have somebody who's going to walk you through that process or you end up having to redo it. And so that to me is a huge, huge bonus for people to help them walk through that process. Create Space is such a good source for authors, you know, and it's so embedded. I love that bonus particularly. And the other one is about, reaching out to book ambassadors, this email swipe copy, taking away the fear of I'm going to do this wrong is always, that's always the part that keeps us from doing something, right? So if you take that away and say, here's your template for that, just fill in the blanks and send it off, man, we can do that all day long. So I love that. That's a great bonus for people. Yeah, and there are 14 letters in there. It walks you through the entire launch. From start to finish and after the launch, the follow up, I have emails as well. So, yay. And so the price is $4.97. Normally it's $9.97, but David, what we're going to do is it's $4.97, one time payment, and all these awesome bonuses. Wow. And here is your link it's at nams.ws forward slash A2I, which is author to income. A2I. And That's A2I. A2I. <laughs> Author to income. And then also, uh, I never take the videos away. You have access to them for a lifetime, 24-7, anytime. All these bonuses will be delivered to your inbox, and it's all right there for you. In addition, I'm going to add two extra bonuses. 
One is my digital author to income companion workbook. So nice. that as you're watching the videos, you're not going to have 500 post-it notes. Right. <laughs> you're going to have the slides and then you're going to have lines to keep notes. So you have everything organized. Then I also created a cheat sheet. What is this? Every resource that I teach and mention in the entire eight week course, I don't want you to have to go back and forth and go, wait a minute, what was it she was talking about? Yeah. No, I have this totally organized by module right here where every single resource that I mention is listed. Nice. Yes. So this is it. One time payment for four ninety uh, four ninety seven, and then there is the link right there. I'm gonna go and give my next hot juicy booster in just a second, David. Just one second. Nams.ws okay. forward slash a two i. I don't want people to think that's a two one. It's a two i. So that's author to income. A two i. Okay. Yep, author to income. And so this is this is what you're gonna get when you get into the course, you're gonna see me, I'm gonna be right there with you, walking you through every step of the way. And by the way, I do have a 14 day money back guarantee. So you're gonna get, this, the doors are gonna open, you're gonna get this incredible content. I have seen the successes that my authors get and I know, I actually know that you can have this too and not only that now with the added component of the self-paced be part of the self-paced program is getting into my facebook group with my active authors mm -hmm. and my my monthly live call it's like you've got everything you need where i am there for you supporting you every step of the way that's nice okay here is my hot booster, how I earned $14,000 extra cash. And what I did is inside the content of my book, I t was teaching my readers how to uh, get, get their products, their consumer products. This was a book on bringing a consumer product to market. So how to get consumer products into stores nationwide. Mm -hmm. And one of the struggles that I had when I had, I had ran my consumer product business for over a decade is getting the names and contact information for those buyers, those retail buyers, those VPs of merchandising. It's, they, it's hard to get that information. Mm -hmm. And so I put it off, you know, I was like, ah, oh, I know everybody needs this, but I put it off because I knew how much work it was going to be and I didn't have time. So I decided to do an experiment and I reached out to Brickwork India, which is the URL is right here. Mm -hmm. And it's a woman owned business. They've won all sorts of international awards for their VA work. And I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna see what will happen. So I gave them a list of the hundred, top 150 retail stores in the United States. And I said, I would like you to find the VP of merchandising contact information, the retail buyer categories for X, Y, and Z. Like I had it all mapped out in terms of what, who I wanted, which stores I wanted. And I said, could you find their information? You know, their name, their address, their phone number, their uh, LinkedIn profile, all this information. They would, said, sure. And they said, it, how, I said, how much is it going to be thinking it's going to be thousands of dollars? And they said $300. So I thought, well, What's the worst thing that could happen if I got this list back and it wasn't what I thought? Then I thought, well, I'd lose three hundred dollars. So it's not the sure. worst thing. So I did it. It came back. It was amazing. Totally organized. I went through and cross-checked every single one on the list. It was beautiful. I put it up for sale. Sold it for forty-seven dollars. It sold two hundred ninety-eight copies in seventy-two hours and earned fourteen thousand dollars. And this was from your book. Yes, this was from the content. It was like an add-on. It was like the, it was the logical next step from that content of my book because I was teaching wow. them exactly how to get in. I was actually teaching them how to get through the back door, side door, front door, rooftop, basement of retail stores. But what they really needed was that little addition of the person's name and contact. And so that was the add-on to my book. Do you see? I do see. And let me tell you, I bought a list, a database of radio hosts that was talk show host and news programs and stuff like that. Yeah. And I paid $270, uh, $297 for that database. So you've given, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> and you know, that's $250 more than what you're charging these people, these people for that. So that was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So it, that's what I was, I'm thinking for, for your people is just like, okay, think about your book and your content. And what are the, what's that information that you really want or that your yep. clients are constantly saying, you know, do you have this or do you know how to get that? 
that's what you need to be paying attention to. And yep. then that, then you can go reach out and get that kind of service to get those tasks done that take way too much time for you to do. Well, and, may, and you turned it into a profit center, which is awesome. Yeah, a, another, another way to generate income. Yep. So yeah, so David, do, are there any other questions for me? You know, Tamara, you, you, um, Tom, you, you, you do such a great job of explaining all of this for people and getting them into the, into the book mindset. I think that's the biggest deal. And I really want you to talk about that a little bit because it's the mindset of your book as business versus, uh, versus your book as a, your writing, you know, and we've talked about that a little bit, but to me, if we look at who's going to be interested in this course, if somebody says, I'm only interested in writing a book, they're, they're not, that's, this is not for them because they got a mindset that they have got to get over. they got to get over that first, right? So talk about that a little bit. Who's this yeah. for? Well, this is if you really want to have an impact with your book. I mean, mm -hmm. this is just the truth. And, and I say this with all seriousness because I've seen way too many authors who think that everyone's going to rush out and buy this book. And, you know, you put this book out and then, as I said earlier, nothing happens. And then, or after your mom and dad and friends and family buy it, then nothing happens. And it really has to be a mind shift in terms of, look, what are you, what are you using this for? Is this book, is this just a hobby for you? And you're just, you know, then that's, then this course is probably not the right course for you. My intention is how can you take what you know, share it with the people who need it the most, like really want your information. Think about it. You have something special that you know from your life experience that other people can really benefit from. Now, yeah. if you just keep it in this one dimensional book, then it's, it's, it's it, your word, what you're saying and what you're sharing is just not going to get out there in a powerful way. But if you're willing to say, you know what? I'm going to make this book interactive. I have great tips and information that I can give sprinkled throughout this book that's really going to help lift these people up who read my book and so that they can have a, a better life or they're happier or whatever your topic is. And then that way you can not only help more people, but then you can also invite people to sign up for your programs, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and I want to say something about what um, – you, you solved a huge problem that is happening today because the JV partner world is really difficult today because people are, um, they're so jaded on this. Everybody wants to be a partner. Everyone wants to be a JV partner. But if you incorporate book ambassadors from the front, this is like a JV partner without becoming a JV partner, right? So they're not really getting any kind of affiliate commission, all of that. They're getting the honor of being in your book. I'm so glad you asked or mentioned that because actually I've had a, a, an author recently just said to me, would well, you have to pay those people to be right. in your book? And I'm like, are you kidding? <laughs> no, they are so grateful to have been asked. It is an honor, as you just said, and it's a benefit to them too. And, and it helps them. Like if they have a business or if they're a coach or whatever it is that they do that is, you know, adding, to your content, right? You're right. including them for a reason because it's right. adding to your content. It's, it's like the biggest opportunity for them. It's a marketing opportunity sure. for them. And if you're out there, uh, you know, getting the word out and, and as you said, it was wild. 50 people telling everyone to go get the book on this specific date. Yep. Uh, that's how you hit number one. And so I've got 50 people. You're not sitting there by yourself and asking your JV partners. You've got 50 people who are just like, I'm in the book. <laughs> and they are so excited. And I mean, it, it just, it explodes. I felt like, like a, a grassroots campaign because I had these 50 people were all over the country right. and they were sending their press release out to their local press. And then I was out doing my national press. And I mean, it was just like, <laughs> just like the roof was exploding. And so that's what I'm saying is it's totally possible for you too. Okay. So I've got another question <clears throat> and this is for, I'm thinking about the people that are in our community. Everybody in our community is interested in digital online business, right? So everybody thinks, and we try to disabuse them of this, but, but they still believe it. Um, and part of it's true that everybody needs a product, right? So they all think that they've got to have their own product. And many of them do have their own product. Um, 
And if they have their own product, but they're not making any progress with that product from where do I get traffic? How do I get opt-ins? All that kind of thing. You're saying that if I add a book to the front of that funnel, that's an entirely new and exciting way to actually explode that entire process of driving people into that product, which may be sitting there not making any money until they start coming in through your book, because now you've got a product that it's added on to that, right? So is that what you're saying? Yeah. And not only that, think about it. The people that you're including in your book, what I do, and you can take those videos like, let's say someone shares this incredible story. Like I had one of my um, women entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. she got cancer right after, um, well, she actually used my first edition and she won Shark Tank. She was the first woman to, you. Um, she brought a product to market using my first edition of my book, went on to Shark Tank and won. Wow. And then she got cancer. <clears throat> And she talked about in her story how actually having this business saved her mm -hmm. because it gave her something positive and something creative to be working on as she was going through her cancer. Mm -hmm. What an incredible story, right? So you can take these stories and not just leave them inside your book, but you can sprinkle them out in social media and just say, hey, if you were blown away by this story, you will yeah. be just amazed by the other stories that are included in this book. So you can you repurpose is my point. Yep. You can even create, now David, like you can put tips all throughout your book as well. Stories, tips, information, whatever. And you can repurpose those and direct them back over and over again to your book, you see? So you can create this constant motion. Yeah, and I'll tell you, you have uh, really stirred me up because you know I've got like 30 courses and uh, the Insiders Club and the boot camp that we do and 12 monthly challenges and all these things, but we don't have that book front end. We've got all the content and I could actually have a book for each one of these funnels to drive people to our ultimate goals on this stuff. So I, you know, my wheels are turning here. Yeah, and let me just say that with what you just said. Your books don't have to be long because you know that, I, I'm sure you know this, but that Kindle has short, yeah. read, short reads is a category. Yeah. And so your book could be, you know, a short book. As long as you've packed it with the juicy information and videos, it doesn't have to be long. You can use it as a tool. And so anyway, I get so fired up about this. So I'm hoping that you get fired up too. I am very fired up. <laughs> I, I fired up about it from the first time I met you a few years ago. So this is, you do a great job with this from the business perspective. I love that. So, um, so they go to nams.ws forward slash A2I. Do you want to see the screen one more time? Do you want to just see the, uh, I can bring it up right here. Here you go. Here is the, there it is. And so this is, uh, oops, can you see it? It's coming. Okay, that was, there we go. It's trying. I don't know why. Man's anyway. WS forward slash A2I. Yeah, A2I, there it is. That's on the, can you see it? I'm just yep, on the screen. Can see that. Okay, yep. there we yeah. are. Nams.ws. Or slash A2I for author to income, and you'll get all these amazing bonuses that I've never bundled up all together. But this is a special opportunity to be here with you. I and really appreciate you doing that for us, Tamara. Thank you so much. Thank so you so much for having me. It's I love talking with you. Yeah, thank you. We'll 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 talk White House uh, later. <laughs> okay. okay, I'd love to. Thanks. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, bye.